Hey, how's it going everyone? This is Brandon Baez from JustaChicken.com here with another awesome Tutorial Tuesday. And I'm going to be completely honest with you right now, I am extremely irritated because this is my third time recording through this entire tutorial because the other two times the audio got screwed up in some way or out of sync and it's, I don't know, it's just really, really irritating. So I'm just going to try and go through this tutorial as fast as possible while still making it understandable for everyone. So anyway, today we're going to be going over a tutorial that a lot of people have already made tutorials about, and that would be teeth whitening. But in my opinion, all of the other tutorials, um, I've looked at most of the popular ones and all that. Um, anyway, those tutorials, in my opinion, are either not really thorough, or they just don't get the job done in the right way. And by that, I mean they don't look entirely realistic. And so I came up with my own way to whiten teeth. And in my opinion, it's a lot more realistic, and not only that, a lot of people could actually follow along, even the beginners that don't really know too much about Photoshop. So I'm just going to show you a quick example or two on how this is going to look in the end. Here's this picture of Trexton doing his classic scream at the camera. And so if you zoom in just a little bit on his teeth, you can actually see that they're just a little yellow. They're not too bad, but they've still got, you know, little yellow areas and all that. But it's kind of understandable because he's wearing braces. It's kind of hard to brush your teeth when you have those on. And so here is what they are going to look like after I apply my own version of teeth whitening. Bam. So as you can see, that uh, pretty well uh, cleans up the, the yellow in there and it brightens them up a little bit. And so just a little, another uh, before and after there for you, before and after. It does a really good job of cleaning out the yellow in there and brightening them. And, it, and in the end, it just looks nice and natural. And I'll show you another picture and how this looks, this other picture of Trexton doing his scream. So here's the before picture, and then here is how it's going to look after I apply my teeth whitening. So again, just kind of brightens them up, makes them a little cleaner, and it still looks completely natural if you ask me, especially if you uh, zoom out a little bit. This looks very natural in comparison with other versions of teeth whitening out there. Alright, so without further ado, let's just get right into this tutorial. So we'll just go back to this one because it's easier to see all the teeth, and I will delete these two layers. And so the first thing that we are going to take care of is creating a new layer. And we are going to call it desaturate. And the reason we call it desaturate is because this layer is meant for removing all of the yellow areas in the teeth. And so the way we're going to use this is by going to our brush tool with the letter B. And make sure that your brush tool has a hardness of 0%. And the size, it doesn't really matter. It just uh, depends on the size of your teeth that you'll be working on. And make sure your foreground color is set to white. And so all you're going to do is you're going to zoom in, and I've got uh, zooming in uh, enabled for my scroll wheel, and that's something you can find in your preferences. And so all you're going to do is just paint in white on your teeth, like so. And it doesn't exactly have to be spot on perfect, you just have to get the general shape and, and all that good stuff of the tooth down. So I'm just going to do that real fast. Alright, so as I said before, this doesn't have to be spot on perfect, just has to get the general idea down. And so once you've got all of these areas painted in with white, just change the blend mode of the desaturate layer by clicking this and going down to color. And then that's obviously looking a little bit ridiculous, so you're going to change the opacity down to 50%. And so that's just going to take out a good portion of all those yellows already there in the teeth. And so just to brighten this up and make it look a little bit better, we're going to duplicate the desaturate layer by hitting Control J or Command J if you're on a Mac. And we will double click and rename this layer to Brighten because we want to brighten up these teeth. And we're going to change the blend mode to Overlay. And seeing as that's looking a little too intense, we'll just change the opacity down to about 15%. And so doing a little before and after, you can see that that brightens them up nice and good. And if you so choose, you can add a layer mask or go to your eraser or something like that. And you can go in and you can paint it in black on the areas that look like they're kind of um, just going out onto areas that they shouldn't be brightening, kind of like uh, around the gums and maybe in the, the back of the mouth. You know, just areas that are getting brightened up that you think shouldn't be. Uh, another good example would be the, the actual braces themselves I can go through and get rid of all the brightened areas on that 
All right, so I'll just give you a little uh, before and after of what happened when I applied that mask to the uh, the brightened layer right there. It just kind of got rid of the brightness on the braces for you. All right, so that's actually all there is to this method of brightening and whitening teeth. And just one little thing that I kind of want to throw in there, why I think this uh, makes it look a little bit more natural than the other ones. Um, in other tutorials, what they try to tell you to do is use hue and saturation to get rid of this, which is completely fine. But then they tell you to use the lighten, or put up the lightness, and that kind of uh, brings up the, the dark areas as well, and that just kind of kills the shadows. But when you're using the overlay blend mode, like so, um, let me put this up to 100%. You can see that even uh, though this is, you know, brightening up all these areas, it still keeps all of the shadows and the darker areas of the teeth. So that is probably what adds so much to the realism of this. Whereas with the lightness thing, it kind of destroys those, those dark areas and all that. So, in any case, I hope you learned something new from this tutorial. Uh, if you enjoyed it, please like this tutorial and share it with others that like, uh, you know, photo man or not photo manipulation, just editing pictures and all that stuff. And for those of you that watch my tutorials uh, every single Tuesday, I'm sorry if this wasn't as um, complicated or spectacular as you would hope it would be. Um, I've been really busy, so I kind of don't have as much time as I'd hope to make tutorials for everyone, so... In any case, I again, I hope you enjoyed this. If you haven't watched any of our previous tutorials, you should go do that right now. And also, if you have a suggestion for a tutorial that you would like to request, please go to our Facebook page, and I'll put a link in the description for you. And I think that's all I really have for you guys today, so... Alright, um, I will go ahead and see you next Tuesday, then.